Oh, you're going to be sick. You want me to sing in Chinese? You're going to the city? All right. You're going to sing in Chinese? You're going to the city? All right. You know what? Anansi likes to dance. 
And if you're saying that Nancy is going to dance, we don't put on time. Favorite food 
is banana and milk. Mm. Mm -hmm. yum, yum, yum. Banana and, and, and milk. milk. Who got milk in the lunch kit? Baku who long. Who got banana in the lunch kit? We go on go back, but who go back here? Go you can't go. No, not you one. Not you one. Okay, boys and girls, are we ready to hear a story about the Baku? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Ah. By wish washi, we're tilting like rain chop. We had, we had to run. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. No, no. That is not the clap, clap, so. It's the clap, clap, clap. Run. Right, good. Clap, clap, clap. clap. Guys, it's a dying story that Oman oh, Coffee Grandpa 
grandfather, and my grandfather, and my grandmother, and their grandparents, and then their grandparents told stories years and years and years ago. Now today you're here and you're seeing the back room. And when you get old, you will tell your children and your friends about the back room. And this is called a folk legend or a folk story. What is it yeah. called? A folk story. Say it. Folk, folk story. story. And this is... It is not real. It's just a folk story. Like SpongeBob. You know SpongeBob story? Yeah. Right. Good. You know Dora? Yeah. Okay. That's not real and this is not real, but it's a story. But this one here is belongs to the Guyanese. Right? Good. Okay boys and girls, we're gonna tell you a story about the Baku. Okay? Who wants to hear a story about the Baku? Me! Okay, here's how it goes. Bye Wishiwashi! Break Pelton! Like Rancha! Me have to go with the run with that from the University of Guyana. Right? One of your teacher goes to the University of Guyana. And many of your teachers, your headmistress, she went to the University of Guyana. I am from the University of Guyana. And what we have realized is that our culture is dying. Right? So what I am, and Janie Girl and Robert and Ty is trying to do is to keep our culture alive. Right? So you all learn about the Baku. You all learn about the, the uh, Anansi. The other person you're going to learn about is the Moon Gazer. Everybody do this. Look up in the sky. That's how the Moon Gazer gazing at the moon. Right? Good. You got one? Now the other one is a, it's a set of rigid, right? Yeah, small days. Even if you don't know, remember your old days. You don't get it. It's still on my mind. Small days with a good good time.
something wrong, when you say sorry, you feel better. Because I really feel better. <laughs> yes. Okie dokie, now the moon gazer is part of the East Indian folklore. And in a little while, on the 5th of May, can anybody tell me what's going to happen? On the 5th of May, you're not coming to school because it's Saturday. But apart from Saturday, it's arrival day. And it marks when the Indians, the East Indians, left India and came to Guyana. And we'll be celebrating arrival day on the 5th of May. Well, when the Indians came from India, they went into the lojis, little houses. All right, I'm going to let the teacher make a loji. I'm going to let your teacher make a loji and bring it to show you all how the early Indians used it and where they used to live in little logies. Okay. Nancy hair it first. All right, this is a Nancy hat. See? This is the hat. This is the hat. Right? You want to see more? You sure you want to see more? This is the hat. You want to see more? You want to see a Nancy face? All right. Do do. Do do. Do do. This is a Nancy face. You want to see more? You sure? Yeah. Are you sure, sure? Yeah. Who wants to have a Nancy face? Yeah. Even for the sponge. 
All right, touch it, touch it. Good. All right. Who wants to see a Nancy short? Me. Two, two, two. Me. Two, 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 two. 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 Who wants to see a Nancy Han? Me! Two, 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 all right, now we're going to do a Nancy the Spider, and then we're going to tell the story of how a Nancy got eight fine, fine legs, right? Yeah. Good. Now, a Nancy is folklore, and I am a lecturer at the University of Guyana, and I'm doing research on folklore traditions, and one of them is a Nancy. I know you're familiar with Dora and SpongeBob, but Dora and SpongeBob it's not Avengers culture. It's imported culture. But Anansi and Balbobin, you know what Balbobin is? It's Abigail's one. You know what Balbobin Okay. Good. Alright, we ready? You guys want to hear a poem about their Anansi? Well, do you know what Bear and Nancy look like? Hmm. Which animal does he resemble? A spider. A spider. A spider. And how many legs does Bear and Nancy have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a spider has eight. Let's ask Oma and Poppy to count now, right? Count how many legs? One. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. I got the comb, not you. You sure you want me to count? Yes. I got only count in ten, though. All right. One. Two, 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 two. <laughs> two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. Three. <gasps> three, three. Four, four. Go for me. This last one here? Yeah. Whoa, you see? Me bright, me bright, me bright. All right, ready? Good. Okay, I want you to listen carefully to the story about Vera and Nancy, okay? Vera and Nancy is a spider. Vera and Nancy is also a man. Hello, 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 hello. Bear and Nancy is a guy needs. Who's the guy needs here? Me. Me. Good. And he's also a west. Sweep my yard. Do you think Bear and Nancy wants to work? Yes. No, Bear and Nancy is lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Let's all shake three times. Vera Nancy was lazy, lazy, lazy. Vera Nancy was what? Lazy. 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 Good. Vera Nancy was lazy and did not like to work. Vera Nancy said, I would love to, but I have things to do. 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 Okay, the first one, tie the web on. Tie one of his web. Uh-huh. Tie the one to the bed. 
go. One of his legs and then tie it to Bimmer Rabbit's foot. Oh, okay, tie to the yes. pot and tie yes. to the leg. He met the monkeys. Oh. <laughs> so all the pots, and Vera Nancy was so lazy that he didn't want to work. So Vera and Nancy went under the mango tree and lied down in the hammer. Good, and with the wet signs to each of his eight legs. And all that he would say is, I string, and I'll know that the pot is done, and then I'll come and eat. Okay, good. Right? So, so guess what? All of the pots were finished at the same time. Oh. Everybody pulled the barrel. All right, hold on to the strings and pull. No, no, no. This, these strings here. Yes, come on, hold on. Hold on, good. Strings and pull it. All right, pull and pull. Everybody pulled and, and pull. And pull and pull and stretch the one on the leg. And he stretched and he stretched and he stretched. And got finer. Fine. And finer and finer. Good. And that's the end of how Vera and Nancy got eight fine legs. Now we will tell you an Amerindian story of how the cassava came to the Amerindians. Okay. Anybody I know you're not familiar with these. I know you're not familiar with these stories, but these stories are tiny stories. And if our teachers would tell them now and then, you will grow up understanding Guyanese culture and our ancestors. The ancestors that came from Africa loved Vera and Nancy. The ancestors came, that came from India loved Bago Bay. So, I know it's a little strange, but we're doing a task. So, we're going to tell you how the cassava came to the Amerindians. Everybody like cassava? Once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived an Amerindian people. I can't remember their names, but they were people like us. Amerindian brothers and sisters, sons and daughters of Guyana. They were all Guyanese. Let me hear you say it. Guyanese! 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 Would you hold this? And they lived in the forest. And they would hunt with their arrows and with their bows. One day, the chief was out hunting. You want to see the battle? Yeah. The battle will frighten you. Are you going to be afraid? Yeah. No. Hmm? No. Okay, he's going to pick up the battle. Boom, boom. <laughs> All right. Let me practice karate now. John Cena. Do what I do. In the air, don't hit nobody. Poof, button. Poof, button. Then, lock the bottle on your neck. Anybody know what is the Baku's favorite food? Anybody here got banana in the lunch kit? Anybody got milk? Anybody got milk in their lunch kit? 
Well, the Baku's favorite food is banana and milk. Shh. Want to touch it? Don't worry, you know how to pick up the Baku. <laughs> right? So don't be afraid. Right? Come on, touch it. Touch it will be better. Come on. Touch here. Touch, touch. Touch, touch. Yeah. And remember, you know how to fill up the bathroom, so don't be afraid. Good. All right, don't be up, don't. You're not too much. Good. All right.
I can call me mommy, tell me mommy to send two more pots of coriolis to with plenty gravy. Anybody know the name of the plant that came with the Indians from India? No. Come on, teacher, help me out. Come on. Oh, you see, 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 see. Mommy, teacher, come on. No, it's not teacher. No. 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 Titan. Remember? The Sajan tree came with the Indians from India. There was another tree that they brought with them that they that they, they used in their religious function. Excellent! Tulsi! Give her a hand! And after Balbo Bin, none did you get curious. Balbo Bin! Sati Dada, give me the right answer! Son, 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 give me the right answer! If you got ten sheep and two sheep get the wheel, how much you got left? <laughs> the children shout out, hey, but Balbo Pins there, are you shut your mouth? No. <laughs> you now got none sheep left. Yeah. Balbo Bin, look at the teacher, the teacher, look at Balbo Bin. Teacher, start for bio. And all the children looking at Balbobi. And Balbobi is their teacher. He and she know mathematics. But me know sheep. And when you got ten sheep in one pen and two of them get away, all the rest go far. So you are now got none in the pen. Now, there is something called common sense. And it is true. If you got ten sheep, right, and there is a hole, and two sheep pass through, the rest of the father? Yeah. So wasn't Balbo being right? Yeah. In a way, he was right. And that was the common sense that Balbo Bin, that came with the East Indians from India had. Right? Because he knew, but he didn't relate it only to mathematics. He related to the lightning, to the situation. So was Balbo Bin right or was Balbo Bin wrong? Balbo Bin was right and Balbo Bin was wrong. He was right and he was wrong. Right? Good. That's that. Now we're going to do the story of how the Amerindians got the cassava. Mata P fine. Mata P fine. Did anybody tell you your fat that one Mata P? <laughs> Right? Then when Mother P gets fine, we'll go find him Mother P can get. See? Mother P fine. Alright, tell me when you want him Mother P fine. Tell me if you want him fine. Tell me if you want him fine. Now this was created by the Amerindians, the first people in Guyana, right? And I'm going to tell you the story 
of how the Amerindians got the cassava. So, The deer start to get scared. The wild hog started to get scared. The fish started to get scared. Even the cockabellies started to get scared. And day after day, the hunter would go looking, looking, looking. And he would hardly get anything. Uh oh. Then one day, he saw. And he was thinking, oh God, oh God, oh Macanana, please let me have this deer, because my people are hungry, my children are hungry, my wife is going to quarrel with me if I don't bring back some food. And Macanaima said nothing to the chief. Macanaima just looked at him while he tried to shoot the deer. So he saw the deer in the corner. Came closer. He said, Oh dear, let me have your flesh. I bless your spirit and return it to the sun. I came closer and closer and closer. And closer, then he took his aim. And then, back! Ah, I saw him! <laughs> the great chief sneezed! And the deer ran away! And the chief had no food! Nothing! He had nothing! What am I going to tell my wife? Oh, what am I going to give my children? What am I going to do? And he was about to cry. He was about to holler. Then suddenly, he saw a little baby in the trap. A little baby! So he forgot he saw the little baby. He forgot every single thing about, about the day you're going to wire hard about anything. He said, Oh my, little baby, where is your parents? And he yelled, Parents of this little baby, if you hear my voice, Come towards the sound of my voice. Your baby is here. He went again. Baby's mommy. If you hear my voice, come. Your child is here. And he shouted, Baby mommy, baby daddy, baby uncle, baby auntie, baby mamu, baby mommy. No body came. And the son the Yankee said, Four hours passed, five hours passed, baby started to get hungry and the place started to get dark. Ha ha. The chief cracked his head, what am I going to do? This time the baby was sitting here looking at him. 